Hello YouTube friends. Um, if you're having a motorcycle, a Suzuki Intruder or Boulevard or any with a hydraulic clutch and you're having issues with the clutch, uh, it may be that uh, the clutch is fine. It's just that the master cylinder needs a little bit of uh, uh, work. I have a uh, 06 Boulevard and when I started initially and started driving it is fine the clutch is working great but once it warms up it starts slipping and when I stop and try to put it in gear it will go into gear I release the clutch handle and it does not engage the bike doesn't move at all the reason is because the clutch is disengaged and something does not let it engage again. And that something may be inside here where the, master the clutch master cylinder is. And I'll show you how to fix this. For this job, you will need this simple tool, screwdriver, a millimeter wrench and a millimeter bit and a clear hose and a container to bleed the system. So what you do is you come over here, you open it up, remove the cover, and the seal. Inside here, there's two holes. This big hole is where the, where the fluid goes in and the piston, the master cylinder piston, pressurizes the, the system down to the slave cylinder. The second hole is a tiny, tiny little hole. And if it's plugged, you will know it's plugged because when you push the clutch handle it would it should spray it should spray fluid and if I do it really hard it will spray six feet up in the air um, but if it doesn't spray you have a problem because this tiny little hole is clogged so to fix this what you do is you need to remove all the remaining fluid from here and get a, a a tiny little wire and try to put it in there and try to to, to unplug it also get some a bottle of uh, brake fluid guide it in there and spray really hard spray for like five five or six times or more until you will see that is bubbling up and the old dirty fluid is is coming up then you know you have unplugged it so once this is done and it's unplugged and is working then what you need to do is bleed the system so to bleed the system is simple and most of you probably know but you need to remove this cover there's three screws that are holding it It's an eight millimeter. Make sure you don't lose those seals and put it aside. And right in here, this is the bleeding screw, the bleeder screw. You're gonna insert your eight millimeter wrench in here and connect your clear little hose onto the opening. And you will come up here and squeeze the handle slightly until you fill in the resistance. Then you come down here 
unscrew the bleeder screw press the handle all the way in you will see the fluid coming out from down there once it's pressed all the way in you close it you turn it up and you close it then you release and you do the same thing over and over and over again you might have to refill the reservoir three or four times making sure that you don't let any air go into the system and once you see the clear fluid that's coming out of here you know you have gotten rid of the old stuff the new brake fluid is in there and making sure that it's a DOT4 DOT4 not 3 and tighten this remove the hose close it and put the uh, cover back also put the cover back here and take it for a test drive and see if the problem is fixed you will know that this is okay again when you squeeze it you will see this little geyser bubbling up and that's when you know that is a good system i hope this helps